Uh, next up, oh my God, folks, super duper deal. Two for the price of one. Please welcome Tanya Chernova. appropriate that the pregnant woman comes on right after the dick jokes. <laughs> so I'm eight months pregnant. <laughs> Shannon, have you ever been pregnant? <laughs> oh, it's not just me. I knew, sir. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> well, pregnancy is very much a wee thing these days. My husband and I are both really excited. We have only six weeks left, you know, to live. <laughs> it's amazing how people just love coming up to you and telling you how much your life is going to totally change when you have kids. They're like really wide-eyed about it and everything. They're like, no, seriously, your body's going to fall apart. You're not going to have any more money left. You're not going to sleep again. Your sex life is over. And no matter what you do, they're going to resent you in the end anyway. So just pay for therapy for yourself. But guess what? It's all really worth it. <laughs> But pregnancy is a really touchy subject, and I get it. You know, it's amazing how North Americans are so terrified of offending you in case you actually aren't pregnant that they pretend like they can't notice anything until you tell them. Then they act all surprised, like, oh, really? I couldn't tell. You're like, really? I couldn't tell. <laughs> but Europeans or people from other countries, they love coming up to you and just telling you straight out, you're pregnant! And your baby's gonna be huge! <laughs> and they've always got this gypsy magic to tell you exactly what kind of kid you're having based on like, you're a cone, you're a ball. And like, the first couple, it's like a movie but the first couple of months, I was sitting in a taxi cab and the driver looks at me through the rear view mirror and he says, in his thick accent, and he goes, you're pregnant. And I was like amazed, because honestly there was no indication that I was pregnant. And I said to him, how can you tell? He goes, oh, you have pregnant face. <laughs> My face is pregnant. Are you calling me fat? And he says, oh, yes, yes. Like my wife. Many times she has pregnant face. And I'm like, I don't know how you do it in your country, man, but we don't carry babies like that here. But like for a moment there, I had a flash scare. Like, can you imagine if we actually could get pregnant with our face? Yeah, this is a family show, so we're not going to go there. My mom's in the audience. <laughs> You know, what's incredible though is that when you do get pregnant, you get this incredible bond instantly with other pregnant women. And I feel a bit like a player now because I saddle up next to women and I just ask them all these intimate conversations and I don't even know their name. So you're like, so how many weeks are you? Wow, so how do you keep your cervix moist? Are your nipples on fire too? <laughs> you know? And it's like, I was at the ultrasound clinic the other day and this woman was sitting next to me, she was like really, really scared and I looked at her and I'm like, so, you come here often? <laughs> But it's amazing because, you know, we say that we turn, they say that we turn into our parents when we finally have kids. It's like your parents' voice actually comes right out of your mouth when you're yelling at your kid or something. So my husband's mother is British. So, you know, when she watches him play sports, she like sits back in her chair, waves a hand, have fun, dear. You know, my mother's Russian Jewish. She gets up at the edge of her seat, throws both hands in the air and goes, you're going to die! <laughs> solves the mystery why we have so many Jewish doctors and very few Jewish athletes. <laughs> and so, you know, it's amazing because, actually, my mom, I have to say, she's amazing. She's an expert at everything. And growing up, I was a bit of a workaholic. And uh, every time she'd call me, she'd say, what are you doing? And I'd say, working. And then after I got married, she'd say, working? Why are you always working? Your husband, you need to feed him. He's going to get starving. And one day, some woman will offer him her muffin. And he will be so hungry. He will be so hungry. He will eat her muffin. And think because he gets so low muffin at home that her muffin is better than your muffin and he will leave you for her muffin. So you better start cooking. So obviously I started cooking, which is how I got the bun in Something really incredible happens to your brain when you're like on commercials, right? Like when you're watching commercials on TV. And when you're pregnant, all of a sudden diaper commercials, where I've never in my life ever paid attention to diaper commercials, they really make sense to me now. You're like, yeah, the blue line, it's a blue <laughs> And then I just think now, every time I like, you know, go to the washroom, I think, oh my god, this is such a time consuming process to clean up after myself. Now I have to wipe for two. Does anyone know if those Japanese toilets come in baby size? <laughs> Self-cleaning, that's what we have to evolve into. So I learned how to be an entrepreneur 
for my mom, and she always says that really good advice, really good Russian advice, can really turn into a thriving business if you're willing to put the effort into your life. So I decided that I'm going to follow the new trend, and I'm going to go all mompreneur about everything. So I'm going to show you my two new infomercials. Would you like to see them? Yeah. <laughs> One of the things that women really complain about when they're pregnant is hemorrhoids, and they're so painful that you have to, like they keep you up all night. So I call my mom and she's like, oh, starch, you have to shred the potato. Shred the potato and put it up the butt. And I thought, okay, this is a perfect kit. So basically, you take the potato, whittle it to size, and insert. And that's not all, it comes with a free steak knife. <laughs> that's gonna definitely make us really Victoria, hello, I have no secret for you. Put cabbage in the bra. Oh, no. <laughs> That's right. It has vitamin U, which is very anti-inflammatory. So we call it the just for you bra. I will be taking orders in the back. <laughs> Yeah, I'm telling you,